we are back out on the bow hunt mission with Holly. So I think it's like maybe the fourth or fifth trip now with the bow. So hopefully it's fourth or fifth time lucky. But yeah, keep you guys posted. you missed. Yeah. Damn, I'm so close. I'd like I had you in frame with Ram and the deer. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it was 30 meters. It didn't look like it though. Yeah, I thought it might have been closer. Really? Yeah. Yeah, see, I thought it was further. Oh, okay. Like, I feel like it flew pretty straight. Could you see at all? No. Not really. I was watching the camera. Yeah, fair. Um... We'll look for the arrow and then work it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording because I've got like no light. <laughs> yeah. So we've just found the arrow and there's nothing on it. So, good sign, but very possible it's string jumped you, I'd say. Good. Yeah, well, it was looking right at me, so I'm not surprised. I still hate bow hunting. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, you got to send an arrow. Yeah. That was sick though, having Rem in front of you. I was very scared <laughs> about that. But she was a little bit to the side. Yeah, so. she was to the side. It yeah. was fine. Damn. Damn. Close. Again. It's alright, try again tomorrow. <laughs> Just gonna quickly interrupt this video and show off this piece that I had done by Darcy Porter Fine Art, colored pencil portrait artist, and he's done an absolutely amazing job of bringing Remy to life in this picture. And just wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna put his website link down in the description. If you wanna have your pet or anything done as a hand-drawn portrait, hit him up.
just spooked a hind at 25 meters and now we're racing down the other side of the hill because there's another deer below us so we've just gone up now we've got to go back down again the wind is a bit crazy but we'll see how we go so there's a deer below us but which is the one i videoed from the opposite face where can smell it but we just can't see it. it's too thick which is really annoying because it's obviously close No, I couldn't see. I couldn't see anything up ahead. Sam Martin with the bow. He sent a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> I could maybe jump that. That'd be that one that was rubbing that tree, probably last time. I was surprised we hadn't seen any stags yet. Oh yeah, with the um, pines around. Yeah. It's like just there. Like I could see it run off. Yeah. yeah. If that. Rem could, sm Rem oh, could yeah. smell something else. Yeah, oh, I knew she could, but I thought it was further up the track. So did I, because she was like looking straight that way, but yeah, right, right there. God damn it. Sandbar, honestly. <laughs> I was literally just thinking on the walk up, like shit. <laughs> Shit, trying to get closer to the boat. Actually, being boat range and free sample already. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Just there, that one below, below us we couldn't see. Yeah. Spooked. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit of the, the bow hunting blues. So I'm thinking, like, at what point do we give up? <laughs> we don't give up. <laughs> we don't. Just tell That made me jump. Like. How different's the honk? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go walk up another hill and see if we can spook some more. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We just tried calling and had no joy, but there's a heap of wind noise, so I'm not sure if the sound of the call is travelling very far, so probably just going to drop over this ridge here got the wind coming up so hopefully Remy will find us some more deer but yeah she's been on fire she's found all the deer so far this morning so hopefully she can continue doing that we'll actually get an opportunity at one
<laughs> yeah. Damn. Damn. We've been battling swirling winds again this morning. Seen a few deer, but they've been running away. So I've got basically no footage. We've had no close encounters or opportunities yet. I've uh, got the rifle strapped to the backpack in case you see a cool stag or something and want to take it with the rifle, but at the moment I think we're going to be walking back to the car, seeing nothing. Hey, Stan. <laughs> So Holly's just gone for a stalk to try and come in on this bedded hind that I just videoed then. And while she's doing that, I'm just having a quick glass around. I found another bedded hind even closer. So if she fails on that one, we might be able to give her a chance on this other one. I'll give you a look. She's 30 metres from that deer right now. She's 140, deer's 115, so it's at 25 metres. hunting things <laughs> oh she was close she was real close that was cool to watch hopefully some cool footage but yeah those deer man they've got like a sixth sense or something the wind was really good covering her noise she would have been silent she's really good at stalking but Sam would just know when something's close so and then the bloody thing just run past me like 20 meters <laughs> <laughs> well that's probably going to be a wrap we've just got back to the car we're going to drive out of the property maybe we'll run into one but i'd say this will be the last clip thanks for watching